so religion and God give a lot of meaning to a lot of people. It's, it gives um, tradition that brings people together um, across the generations, but it also can hurt people. What do you uh, make about that tension? So a source of meaning, but also a source of pain for people. The reality is, at least to me, again, this is just my reality. I feel like I'm doing my dad's thing every time I'm talking to. I'm like, I don't really know. My Take two a cents. Here's my two cents. You have become your father. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the reality, and it's my reality, and it is the reality for yeah, sure, right. <laughs> is um, there's, I think that religion has brought a lot of hurt and pain to a lot of people. Absolutely it has. That, I, I don't think anybody can dispute that on it on either side. Um whether it's war, um, you know, whether it's slaughtering of entire peoples, like it's, there's been a lot of pain and suffering that has come from religion. Um, so my little thing that has been hard for me is a faith crisis, right? I had religion and then I, I lost it and then I had nothing. So that's, for me, I was like, well, religion did that to me, right? Like, but then at one point it's kind of like, how much of my life am I just going to complain about like being raised Mormon or being depressed? Like, you know, as I get older, I'm like, okay, so what? Like, okay, it's really hurt me, but were there any good things that came out of Mormonism? Well, yeah, there's a lot of good things that have come to my family through Mormonism. Closeness, we're really, really close. Mormon culture is that you live together forever, right? The teaching is that you're in, your families are forever. We die and then we go to heaven together and we're together forever. My family really believes that principle. All of them do. And that instills a certain way of living that's kind of beautiful, even if it's naivety. There's something kind of beautiful about believing that we're forming these bonds together as a family and that like we're going to be together forever. It brings a lot of comfort to a kid too. When I was little, I was like, wow, it's going to be okay if I die because I get to see my mom again. You know what I mean? I like, I really believe that. Is the right answer that you tell that kid, actually, when you die, you're not going to see your mom again? <laughs> Maybe it might be. I, I don't know. And everybody's going to, anybody who has a kid is going to face that, that moment. I've already faced it where you sit down and my kid was like, hey, dad, when you die, am I going to see you again? That was actually a really hard moment for me because I was suddenly faced with, okay, do I give the answer that I thought was bullshit <laughs> or do I give the answer of what I think it is or do I give the real answer, which is I don't know. <laughs> and that's what I chose, which yeah. as a father, that's not always the easiest answer because your kid, it's a wonderful thing that you feel like you can give your kid the comfort of like, hey, your parents are going to take care of everything. We know everything. We've been around. My kid's always like, are you the strongest? I'm like, yeah, I am the strongest. You're stronger than everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stronger than everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when you're faced with that moment, it's like, it kind of sucks to tell your kid, like, you know what? I don't know if you're going to see me after I die. But that, but I hope. That's why I said, I was like, I don't know, but I, but I hope. I really hope. Because that would be awesome if we can hang out forever. And if there's any way for it to happen, I'll make it happen. You know what I mean? That's kind of what my answer was. So long story short, Sorry, I know that I'm being lengthy on this. Is there like what is my thought on religion? It just is. It's gonna, it's been here forever. It's coping. It maybe it's I, I can't say whether it's true or false. How the hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I've lived 34 years on this planet. I, a lot of people have been around a lot longer than me, and they really believe very deeply. And a lot of them are smarter than me. You know what I mean? Like, I look at my older brothers, for instance, who are very practicing Mormons. These guys are hyper intelligent. My my younger sister, hyper intelligent. All of them start smarter than me. They all believe it still. So what am I supposed to say? Well, you're all stupid. You know what I mean? Like you're all wrong. I don't know. May, like maybe it's the South Park episode where everybody dies and then they're like, "Well, the right answer was Mormonism." And everybody's <laughs> yeah. like, "Oh." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Mormon Mormons love that moment in South Park. They're like, "Hey, that day may come. <laughs> that day may come." <laughs> 